Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Do you have a crush or feelings for someone? How can you tell if what you're feeling is love or infatuation? Over time, a simple crush can develop into new territory, something between a crush but not yet love. So what's the difference between love and a crush? Let's find out. 1. How long did it take you to develop feelings? Typically, crushes start and end quickly. In the initial stage, you go through a period of idealization where your crush seems perfect. When you develop a crush on someone, your brain releases dopamine and norepinephrine, two neurochemicals designed to create bonds. These two chemicals are responsible for the sweaty palms, fast heart rate, and giddy feeling you experience whenever your crush texts you back. However, this period does not last very long. So if those feelings mature after some time, then there's a chance that it could develop into love. 2. Do you idealize the person? Another way to differentiate between a crush and love is to ask yourself whether you idealize that person or not. Idealizing your prospective partner is not uncommon during the initial stages, but when you fall in love with someone, you look beyond those qualities and you no longer think in terms of perfect or flawless. You learn to love and appreciate your partner for who they are, including their flaws. 3. Is your attraction just physical? Did your feelings for them develop solely based on their physical appearance or the way they act around others? This relationship will mainly be a physical one, since you both hardly know each other. You might find yourself fussing over your appearance too. However, when you are in love, you feel comfortable in your skin because your partner knows and accepts you. 4. Do your feelings change? Do your feelings grow stronger and weaker over time? When you are in love with someone, your feelings for them don't disappear. They grow. 5. Is your relationship focused on desire or friendship? Because crushes are rooted in physical appearance, the relationship might only focus on attraction or desire. You may have completely different personalities, values, or tastes, but you are attracted to each other. While attraction is necessary to fall in love, it's not the foundation that builds lasting relationships. What creates a lasting relationship are common values, goals, and interests. It takes time to be in love with someone. So, did you relate to any of these signs? Along with everything we mentioned, the most important indicator between crushing on someone and falling in love with them is time. While you will still feel butterflies during the initial stages of your relationship, crushes can mature and blossom into true love over time. Did you enjoy this video? Feel free to share some of your crushes to true love experiences in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.